Welcome back to Mason Talks. So, so far this offseason, I haven't really done a lot of talking about the Cleveland Browns quarterback, Baker Mayfield, and that is for good reasons. There really hasn't been a ton going on with Baker Mayfield, but today I wanted to talk about Baker, and I wanted to talk about what we might be seeing from Baker in the near future. Now, we all know that Mayfield has had a somewhat up and down career. Obviously, he was great in his rookie season, 27 touchdowns, a rookie record at the time that has since been broken by Justin Herbert. Uh, And then 2019 was awful. The Freddie Kitchens regime was terrible, and Baker, of course, regressed, throwing 22 touchdowns and 21 picks. And then last year, Baker was able to bounce back and at least be competent in the Kevin Stefanski system, throwing 26 touchdown passes and only eight interceptions. So Baker Mayfield has had moments in which he's been great, and he's had moments in which he has been terrible. What should we expect from Baker Mayfield in 2021? Should we expect an improved version of Baker? And I think the clear and obvious answer to that is yes. I think it is 100% fair to assume that Baker Mayfield is going to be not only a good quarterback, but one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. Now, let me explain why. I think we all know that Baker Mayfield has talent. We know that he has talent. We know that he's a good deep ball passer. We know that he's got good accuracy. We know that Baker Mayfield has the sort of, you know, leadership that it takes to point a team in the right direction and to get them at least going on, on the right path in terms of their locker room, all that. We know that Baker has the qualities of a franchise quarterback. But I think the two questions in Baker's career have been, number one, does he have the consistency in terms of his fundamentals that it would take to get to that point and number two does he have the right coaching does he have a coach and an offensive system that is going to do its best to get the top performances out of Baker Mayfield now when looking at the first issue there Baker Mayfield in year one, he ha- had good fundamentals. He had good fo- footwork. His you know throwing form was tight, concise, and quick. It, 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 it was it was very you know smooth, crisp, clean quarterback play from Baker. That all fell apart in year two because again, didn't have a coach, <laughs> didn't have a coach, didn't have an offensive coordinator, didn't have a quarterbacks coach. Baker was basically alone in 2019, which was which was terrible to see. Last year again. We started to see Baker get back onto that track with Kevin Stefanski where he was getting into a rhythm. He was able to kind of stay consistent in the pocket. He wasn't necessarily rolling out to his right as often in terms of unscripted plays. Obviously, when you look at the play action uh, game that the Browns tried to implement in that, you know, obviously included Baker rolling out. But that's because the Browns wanted it to happen in that situation. It wasn't necessarily a panic move from Baker Mayfield to be rolling out like crazy either to his left or usually to his right. Baker's fundamentals, <clears throat> his footwork, his throw motion, everything that was clean and 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 beautiful about his play style in year 1, we started to see it return in 2020. And I think that has to do obviously with the impact that we've seen from Kevin Stefanski and Alex Van Pelt. Now, I think that we have to give credit to Kevin Stefanski, obviously, because he's a really good coach, really good offensive-minded guy, really good play caller, and he has definitely built an offense that suits the capabilities of Baker Mayfield. But I also think it's important to look at what Alex Van Pelt has done to Baker Mayfield's game and to kind of get him back on the right track. Now, one thing that I remember vividly about last offseason was when the Browns hired Alex Van Pelt. One of the first things that he said was he was going to switch Baker Mayfield's foot stance in the shotgun formation. Instead of Baker leading with his right foot, he'd be leading with his left. Now, 
that's not the biggest deal in the world. That's not anything crazy. That's not a hot take by Alex Van Pelt or anything like that. But that immediately told me that the Browns and their coaching staff and their coordinators were going to do what needed to be done to Baker Mayfield. And that was hammer in on his fundamentals. Make sure he was the mechanically best quarterback that he could have been. Now, all of that was good and it resulted in good quarterback play from Baker. I mean, all in all, if you look at the entirety of his play, including postseason, he had 30 touchdown passes. I mean, he he, he threw for over 4,000 yards. If you're counting postseason games, Baker looked good. And what makes me believe that he's going to take that goodness and turn it into greatness in 2021 is the fact that that not only is his team just as good as last year, but they're set to be better. Now, when you look at the Browns' offense, they did not make a ton of crazy acquisitions in the offseason. The Browns re-signed Richard Higgins. That had to be done. The Browns went into the draft and they brought in Anthony Schwartz. He's a speedy receiver. I think eventually he can be great. But in his rookie season, he's still probably going to be raw, and we're not going to see necessarily superstar plays from him right off the bat, you know, any and anything of that magnitude. The Browns made some other minor moves to their offense, but overall, you're getting the same unit, the same offensive line, same running backs, and Kareem Hunt and, and Nick Chubb. Odell Beckham's supposed to come back. Jarvis Landry's going to be coming back. Same offense. And you have the same exact coaching staff. You have Kevin Stefanski. You have Alex Van Pelt. You have this stability around Baker Mayfield. And for the first time in his career, that stability is going to be long term. I mean, look at Baker's first couple years in the league. Year one, Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson got fired. You had Greg Williams. And then, you know, immediately year three, Freddie Kitchens. That's three head coaches in the span of a season and a half. That is absurd. And I think that that is definitely one of the reasons that Baker struggled in year two. And I think that's one of the reasons that Baker struggled at the beginning of year three. The dude was never given consistency. Now, we saw Baker succeed in the Kevin Stefanski and Alex Van Pelt scheme. We saw Baker succeed with this offensive line and the weapons put around him. And for the first time in his career, we are going to get to see Baker do it again with the whole band coming back together. Baker Mayfield has undeniable talent. He has undeniable skill that has led to success in the National Football League. You can't deny that. I mean, we've seen it play out multiple times through multiple seasons. The one thing we have not seen in Baker's career is stability. Now that he has that stability, I think we're going to see Baker thrive. The one quarterback who I keep going back to in terms of a comparison for Baker is Ryan Tannehill. Now, I know that that's not a superstar. I know that that's not a Pat Mahomes or an Aaron Rodgers or a Brady or anything of that magnitude. But if Baker Mayfield could be as good as Ryan Tannehill was for the Titans last year, and Ryan Tannehill threw like, what, 33 touchdown passes? He had one of the best uh, quarterback ratings, completion percentage ratings in the National Football League. If Ryan, if Baker Mayfield can do what Ryan Tannehill did last year, then the Browns can absolutely win a Super Bowl with the weapons that they have around him. Ryan Tannehill was a complete throwaway from Miami. I mean, they dumped him to Tennessee for nothing, and he's revived his career with the Titans. He's made himself a legitimate NFL quarterback. They gave him a big contract to you know stick with their team. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of consistency. Sometimes it just takes a coach and a coordinator and a, you know, a, an offensive staff. Sometimes it just takes them believing in you, building a plan around you, and then sticking to that plan for more than one season. It led to success in year one. There is absolutely no reason to doubt that that can lead to success in the second year of the Baker Stefanski pairing. And I think it's only fair to assume that if Baker continues to improve like we've seen him do every year in his career, he's going to be really, really good in this next season. In year four, Baker's going to break out. And I, I don't think that that's crazy to say whatsoever. 
Let me know in the comments, do you think Baker Mayfield is going to be a top tier quarterback in the National Football League this season? Because I think he is. I think he's going to be one of the best. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.